and welcome back to another video. We have the February scroll box today. If you do not know what a scroll box is, it is a monthly art subscription box. It costs £16.95 for the box itself, additional postage and packaging outside of the UK, and you receive a mix of art supplies every month. So you don't know what those art supplies are. There is also a featured piece of artwork by a featured artist, a scroll zine that tells you a bit about the supplies, a bit about the artist and a few hints and tips. There is also some, some featured artwork in there from previous boxes from just regular old scrollers like me and you. Um, there's also a suite in there, a scroller sticker and a scroller challenge which is a word or phrase where you create a piece of artwork using just the supplies in the box. So this box is thick. My post person wouldn't post it through the letterbox. I had to wait a day and go and collect it from our um, delivery station so that was a bit annoying um, but it is hefty, it is thick and it is heavy so let's get into this straight away. Okay so I tried to not look at any spoilers um, because a lot of people had gotten these pretty quick this month, um, here in the UK anyway. So this is the scroller zine. Ooh, it could be something watercolory by this. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. I love the colours. This is the featured artwork. Wow, that is stunning. That is absolutely stunning. Wow, look. Wow, <laughs> that really is amazing. So this is the featured artist. If you want to pause that there and you are able to read it, please do so. So this is Katie Smith. Um, it's a professional artist from Scotland, now living in Switzerland. Interesting. Um, so there's a little bit about her. I'm going to go and check out these because this artwork is beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Okay, so let's put those to one side for now. Straight off the bat, we have an aqua pad. Um, so definitely watercolour type supply. Might not be watercolours themselves, but lovely aqua pad here by Claire Fontaine. It is 300 GSM, so it's pretty thick. Oh, it's lovely. It's got a lovely texture to it. Okay, so let's get into these supplies. Let's put these to one side and open up these. So our scroller sticker is from the artwork, which is beautiful. I really, really like that. Lovely. Let's put that to one side. Um, our sweet, our free sweet, is some fizzy rolls. I, these are actually one of my favourite sweets. Um, I really love these, so I'm excited to have some of those. We have a Sakura Jelly Roll. These are a must if you like to do white highlights and stuff. They are fantastic. I have so many of these Jelly Roll pens, but I'm not complaining. They definitely do help with adding highlights to a lot of work if you don't want to use gouache or anything like that. They're, they're, they're really, really good. Um, so a very much a must in any artist's repertoire and collection. So yes, we were correct. We have a Derwent set here of watercolours so this box reminds me of the uh, the graffitin type box so I, i'm assuming this is one of their specialized sets yes so it's a pastel shades paint set oh beautiful i think a lot of people are going to be happy with these um because the pastel shades are really really popular um and i've seen a lot of people wanting to buy these so i'm quite pleased i think these are going to be lovely absolutely beautiful and you can see those pastel shades coming through in this featured artwork I can, I'm absolutely blown away by this artwork it's stunning absolutely stunning okay so we will swatch those in a second um, let's have a look at the scroller challenge so we've got between the reef so lovely and sea life which is lovely and um, I think that opens up a lot of possibilities um, let's have a look through the scroller zine quickly so here's a little spread about the supplies a little bit more um, I don't think there's anything in depth there we need to read. This is a little bit more about the featured artist. Again, if you can read that and you want to pause, please do so. I'll read that after this segment. 
then we have some scrawler tips things to try and artists advice i will read those as we do some swatching of these supplies um so don't worry about that and then we have the scrawler gallery so this is artworks featured um from two boxes ago so this is when we received those lovely um metallic pens and there's some absolutely stunning artwork on here really really stunning this one specifically is beautiful i love the way they've used that negative space same on here beautiful wonderful so i always tend to look at some of these artists and go and follow those because um they i just think it's good to find some good artists sometimes and explore on those and then the last little bit is a scroller extra about the power of pastel so it's always relating scroller extra um to the theme or something like that so that's that's good that's good very nice so i'm excited to try these i think they're going to be beautiful i think these um pastels i, I love derwent pens uh, pens paints <laughs> um i like that we've got this handy card that's nice um but yeah i'm excited to try these and we will get to swatching now Let's get into some scrawler tips so the things to try segment so firstly getting started when setting up we recommend using two pots of water one to rinse your brush and one to clean it this will prevent you from unintentionally mixing your colors keeping them nice and clean number two the derwent pastel paints are very soft and light so they are perfect for creating a light or delicate wash however they can also be layered once dry to create a brighter and more opaque finish Patience is key. If you plan on working in layers, make sure the underneath layer is absolutely dry. Watercolours aren't permanent, but if you let them fully dry, they are far less likely to move when reapplying another wet layer. This will prevent things like colour muddiness and watery tidal marks. That being said, you can create some nice effects whilst the paint is still wet. Try swiping a clean, wet brush across fresh paint. This will lift off some of the paint underneath to create some soft visual interest, great for backgrounds. For a more dramatic effect, you can use dab on you can dab on some tissue. The tissue will absorb more of the wet paint, great for creating things like clouds or darker areas for highlights or even lifting off paint to create correct mistakes. The white jelly roll is super opaque, making it ideal for layering over the paints. Great for going back in with some finer finishing details and of course highlights. You can also paint on top of the ink for a brighter pop of pastel colour once dry. It becomes waterproof and will not smear or feather. So the artist advice is, if you're working with some watercolour brands, you should be able to remove watercolour from your paper even after it's dried. By adding a little bit of water and lifting some colour out, you can achieve great levels of fade, light bursts and delicate layers. Using some additional simple household items with your watercolour can help achieve some great textures. Most people have heard of the salt technique, but you can also use cling film over your wet surface when it's dry, as this gives a great effect. Or trying to use a kitchen sponge to blot and give bubbles or a rough texture when applying water to make it washy in areas you need. So some great tips there. Um, I would say also that the jelly roll does not go over this watercolour, but um, it, I mean, a, a, a normal liner pen, so like a Uni Posca pen or a paint pen would work perfectly fine. I would also say the texture of this is quite chalky. The paint is a little bit chalky and I think that's how they're achieving the pastel look. So just be aware also when you're using pens over the top that it may clog them up ever so slightly. Um, but I will let you watch the rest of this video and then hear my thoughts at the end.
what I've achieved with those paints. They are beautiful paints. As you saw at the beginning, I did that lovely swatch to kind of get as many colours as I want. And the colours, they're pastel, but there's like a vibrancy to the colours. Now, I don't know whether I made the mistake of doing a blue wash at first. And so that has just dulled every single colour I put on it. But no matter how many layers I do, no matter how thick I make the paint, I can't seem to get the vibrant colours I want. I can't seem to get the vibrant oranges or anything. I don't know why. And I think... I think and I suspect it is probably the wash that I did underneath but I I don't know I also just think to do a complete painting unless you're like to do a complete painting that's the background and the foreground I think you need depth of color and obviously pastels are a sh are a, a tint I don't I don't know how you'd word it I don't know what the correct wording is but that you don't have the deeps you don't have the the darker shades to kind of create depth in your piece and I think that's where I am lacking personally I may have just done it wrong um I'm not sure I do like the piece I think it's nice I like that I've managed to get that light coming in from the top here I do just think it needs some darker color going over the top um maybe I'll maybe I'll add some of a different paint maybe some normal watercolors and see whether that helps at all um the white jelly roll I have seen a lot of people saying this about this and I don't know whether Scrollbox just haven't tried it but the white jelly roll does not go over these paints at all it's really scratchy you don't get the nice white color I'm a massive advocate for a jelly roll but it just does not go with these paints at all so that is not the best match the paintbrush I actually completely forgot it came with a paintbrush so all my swatches I actually did with a different brush um, but the paintbrush is pretty good I, I really like that it holds a lot of water it, it doesn't clog up or anything it's very nice um but i did use one of my own paintbrushes just to create a big wash um on that um overall i like the paints i think they're lovely 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 paints i just i think you kind of need to pair them with something else if you're going to do a full piece like this um and like i say i think i might go back in with this with some normal watercolors and maybe deepen some things up um, so if you want to see the outcome of that, probably head over to my Instagram and you'll probably see what it looks like at the end. But all in all, it's a nice month. Um, I think good supplies and I'm happy with them. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.